it's the outdoor adventure. So we're out with Billy again. Uh, semi-urban, semi-rural urban sort of area. And we end it day. Survival. Survival, you don't have to be in the wilderness, you can be anywhere. You've got to survive in an inner city, you've got to survive semi-urban, you've got to survive in an urban environment. You don't know what situations we're going to come across. But uh, today I'm just going to look at, uh, I'm going to show you what I do so I don't fail at friction fire bore drill. I'm going to use every trick in the book to make sure that I get a fire. So I'll show you all them tricks. Uh, just while I'm walking down here, I must have passed, oh man, 40, 40 edibles, wild edibles, e easy, there's loads. So, just got a few in my hands here. Dead simple ones that uh, you probably have seen, you know. I mean, if, if you've seen them, I apologise. If you haven't, you might learn a bit of something. But I mean, you've just got your hose. Now these are blooming everywhere nowadays, fantastic. You can make all sorts out of these. But to eat these, all I do, it's got me hole there, I squeeze it, so I'm getting rid of that pip. Yeah, you don't want to eat the pip, yeah, but the rest of it is pretty good. I think it tastes like peanut butter, but uh, a lot of people say I'm crazy with that one. You've got your slow, yeah, loads of slows about. If you like a bit of gin, you'll be all right in your gin. Put them up and put them in your gin. Slow gin, you must have heard of that. The only thing with your slows is, same again. You've got a pip in them. You don't want to eat that pip. Get rid of the pip. You can eat the rest of it. Nice. Rose hips. Another one. Another good one. But you need to cut your rose hip in half. Cut it in half. And what you've got inside is a load of hers and pips. Now them hers are an irritant. So you need to get rid of all them. So make sure you get all them out. It's always a little bit fiddly. But scrape all them hers out. Make sure we get all them out. And your raw zips are lovely. Full of vitamin C. Yeah. Really nice. Probably the tastiest out of them three. Slows are alright, but quite taste. So yeah. You'll be able to hear it. I'm next to a motorway here. M65, so this is an area where when I was a kid we used to do a lot of poaching, a lot of rabbiting, pheasants, uh, take a few fish as well and what have you, so good days to get back in here, and like I say even though I'm next to a motorway, still some fantastic fields and fantastic woodland, so we'll get in there and we'll look at what we do for the bow drill, I might even knock up a bit of a uh, a bit of char afterwards and uh, we'll look at a flint and steel with char. All right, let's get on it. Right, so, torch's up. It's a bit of a wet day, so, like I say, you've got to give yourself every advantage as you can for the, uh, the board drill. So, under torch, same as anything. Try and keep it nice and organized. Uh, so I've got my rucksack under here, keeping dry. Got my tools here laid out. <coughs> my axe, my knife, my saw. Uh, down here, I've got a nice bit of big piece of bark. I found a bit of fat wood, so I've got some fat wood. That's one of my advantages. I've got to uh, so scrape some fat wood over here. I found other tinder on the way in. I've got some birch bark, some of it's a bit damp, it's not so bad. Feather sticks. My fire's set up, so I've got my big log on the back. So I'm going to let some ventilation in, southwesterly wind, so it's coming in from that side. So I know it's blowing in the side of it here, so it's going to give it a bit of air. I've got some more small twigs and everything for once it gets going. So there's some birch bark in there as well, and my feather sticks. 
So once we get the fire going, I'm going to present my me, uh, me ember to this. We're going to wrap it up in this birch bark. I'm going to blow that into flames and then I'm going to put that under there. So now the hard bit. Get me board drill set up and get me board drill done. But saying that, this is an hard bit. Once you've got the ember, it's no guarantee you've got the fire going. Yep, so we'll get on with that. Come back in a minute. I've also got some resin. So I've got a bit of resin out of some pine trees. So that's going to help, uh, once I get a flame, if I can get that lit, that's going to maintain that flame. Which is going to help me get this stuff wet because it's chucking it down out of you. Yeah. Bouncing it down, so... Good to practice in wet conditions, but that'll help. So I'll add that to me bit. I'm not made a brand new one today, this is one I've got. That's me, uh, me anvil for the top, me drill. That's going to catch me ember. Yeah, that'll be sitting underneath me slot. I might need to make another hole yet in this, but I'm going to try that existing one. Just made me bow. So me bow, all I've got, I've got a loop over that end. I'm using some bank line. And then this end, that's how I tie mine. I cut a notch out. A couple of V's in the top, put it over, a couple of half itches, Bob's your uncle. So I need something relatively dry. Let's have a look. See what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a bit of that bark. There. Still going to use this. Get all the wet leaves off. Make sure your ends are clean. Even any any of the black embers, make sure you've got rid of it. Any of the charged stuff, take it off, take it off for your next piece first. When you're starting again. a bit of this up and shove that in there uh, in the end of my uh, my anvil well, there's various ways you can do it you can lock your hands around your leg I'm pretty alright just doing it this way mate get it warmed up get it warmed up That's a good man, I'm only warming it up. It's a nice steady pace just to warm it up. <clears throat> Gonna make a new one of these. Let's try again. New notch. It's getting more and more damp as the rain continues. Right, let's get on it. Let's crack on. Not sure whether my notch is going to be big enough there. I'm hoping it is. <clears throat> Might have to make my notch a bit bigger in a minute.
That noise is because I've no lubrication on top here. I could do with a bit of uh, a bit of greenery in me uh, the top of me anvil here. Take my jacket off. It's always warm work lighting a fire when you're using uh, friction. Nah, give it a bit more, need a bit more powder. Shove a bit of uh, a little bit of wet stuff in there. I don't want to shove too much because what I don't want it to do is drop down onto the or run down my spindle. Yeah, don't want the damp to run down my spindle. Or the wet green stuff to uh, drop onto my embers. Get it warmed up again, and then we'll start speeding up in a sec. A bit like Shaggy Man. Gonna get to the vinegar stroke in a minute. So it's gonna take a bit longer when you're shagging, ideally. Get it to the vinegar stroke. Now, whoa, looking for that ember now. Still smoking, so I think we've got one. Let it consolidate. Pissing it down now. Oh, I've got an ember. See me ember then. See it going. Nice warm. Beautiful. We're getting it. What it's all about, that's what it's all about. Oh. Whoa! All good fun and games, innit? Yeah, Billy, get away. Good luck, come on. Good boy. Good boy. Right. Gotta be dead careful now. Mm. 
Niyem bi? Come on. See what I don't want to do is blow me all my ember out. I want it to catch the other stuff. That ember that I made, the more I blow, the more I'm dissipating that ember. Got it. Got it. Right, we're on it. Oh dear, that took some flaming blowing. Didn't even use me bit of resin. So there we are. All down to preparation. Still took some serious blowing with that birch bark and just a bit of uh, bit of grass and what have you. I think best stuff me is like bracken really dry bracken in winter get a good wrap of dry bracken and fold it over and tie it up that's the best stuff in winter everything's wet through at the minute though anyway so anyway cracked it up didn't we good little fire now anyway it took time that it's took time so from start to finish and i didn't even make my ball drill set but it still took me uh couple of hours there of prep and everything so it's one of them but we've got it going in the end anyway so quality hey good to see you anyway and uh, thanks for coming back and having a quick butchers of this i was going to i was going to charge some uh, some punk wood but uh nah, it's knocking on now 
so I'll probably knock it on head for today and we'll charge some punk wood next time but uh, good to see you again anyway and look after yourselves and uh, thanks for coming along see you later, ta -da.